Is that, um, is that music getting annoying yet for anyone else? Does anyone else think that that music may have overstayed its welcome um, and in fact certainly needs to stop? Uh, I'm going to think, of, I'm going to have a, I'll have a look around and uh, yeah, thanks for the, yes, thanks for the, yeah. I like to keep things professional. Um, I might mix things up is what, is what I'm saying. Music is great, okay, well, as long as you don't concentrate on it too much. For me, I was listening to it then for about uh, 25 minutes uh, while getting this set up. And uh, it was, it, you know, at some point it was starting to get to me. Welcome to the stream, everybody. How are you today? Yes. Greetings, Dante. Frontier Devs here as well, the wonderful Frontier Dev. Uh, Robbie XP1, uh, Andy FM, the, the barman, I hope the bar is set up and ready to go. Um, not Biffle, good to see you. Shan, Orange Spark, Jacob Frittata, good to see Jacob Frittata here. Always good to see Jacob Frittata here. Always good to see all of you. Um, yes, Dante2050. That last stream, live stream yesterday was hard work. Uh, it was so much fun though. Uh, really, really intense. So thanks to everybody who was, uh, who was there, who got to, got to see the action unfold. It was a pretty wild one, a long one. An interesting one there. Lots of facts being thrown around by all sorts of different interesting people. Um, but yeah, Zach kept me in check. He did a good job. Oh, destination. Destination. Rubbish. We are not home yet, Robbie XP1. We are still 60,000 plus light years away from home, which is a long, 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 long way. Um, so what I decided to do, if you haven't already heard, is that I'll be doing a live stream this very weekend at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. That's wrong. 10 a.m. BST, running for six hours. So as you can see, that's where I got my uh, nonsense from. Uh, so let's lock our destination and get out of here. Let's go. Am I a little quieter today? Do you need me to be louder? Where am I? Which channel am I in? The uh, hello, good greetings. I turned things down a little bit on the stream last night because things were people were getting annoyed with how loud we were. Apparently. You didn't enjoy the chat grief in yesterday's stream. Well, they can't all be as beautiful and lovely as you guys in this stream, can they? So. You know, it takes some time. It takes some time to... We'll have everybody on board being beautiful and lovely like you guys as well. Uh, very, very soon. It'll take some time, though. It does take a while. Um, today, I have to be a little quieter, actually, as well. I'm not being as silly and as loud, because I think there's a board meeting happening in the next room over. If you listen very carefully, you can hear them talking about boards and, and, and meetings and other things. They keep saying financial projections and... Um, Talking about wizards. I don't really know what they're talking about. But you can listen after you can hear Yesterday was a propaganda test. Commander Coot says Zach and Edward like a poor man's ant deck, a very, very poor man. Hmm. Hmm. FSD malfunction, the first one of the day. I think that's the seventh one of this week already, and we're only on Tuesday. Andy FM. What is it today? What is the drink of choice today that will be, will be, what's the word for it? Um, lubricating people's mouths and throats with today to uh, make them feel prepared and ready for the rest of the day. Stag's breath. 
It's Speyside malt and fermented comb honey. Lovely stuff, Andy FM. That sounds delicious. Delectable. Stag's breath is very nice, says Commander Coots. Very, very nice. Uh, Fort 10701 says, oh, wrong boards. I used to work at a lumber yard. Not that kind of board. Although, uh, probably would be more interesting than what was happening next door. That's for sure. Is this your first time here, 141701 at Fort 1701? I do apologise if it, if it is. Sorry. I'm sorry for what you're about to see. Uh, but I don't apologise for how lovely and friendly the chat are. So it'd be nice to Fort 1701. If it is your first time, if it isn't, then I do apologise for not recognising you as a regular. In this ship, what I call the good ship. Luba. Lou, the good ship Lou, the good ship Lewis. Can't think of anything good. Oh, is iGamer17 here yet? I thought of a good name for iGamer17. It's in the chat. If you look, it's not in the chat. It's in the in the description. He is the what did I call him? The official count of down. He's the count of down. Like the official. The, no, he's the final count of down. The final count of down. iGamer17. He does all the final countdowns, you see, towards every Biscuit's dream. He gives the last, like, the 45-minute countdowns. So he's the final count of down. Where is he? Is he here today? If there's a board meeting, poke your head around. Don't shout, I am Mrs. De Winter now, and run off. For those literary-minded, it will make sense. Not me. I'm not literary-minded, Shan. I am. I do read books. Talking of books. Um, read Harry Potter. Where the Wild Things Are, the Beano Annual, every year, without fail, since 1987. NCC 1701, easy to remember number. I was here once before, during the big landing, I just had to wake at 5am PST. Ah, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, so, can you be nice to 1701? He's not been here before, basically. He's not been in these silly streams. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm jumping all the way home. You are here for the big landing, and that's pretty cool. And now I'm jumping all the way back to Sol, and I thought we'd do it in a live stream. I was not ready for the ice cream van. The board meeting must have called in an early ice cream van, an emergency ice cream to cheer up whatever is happening in the board meeting. They must have had a serious conversation and said the only way to solve this, guys, is to hire, is to call in the ice cream van to come in earlier to make sure that we can be pleased by the delectable ice cream tastes. Early ice cream, says Percat 59 he's absolutely right. The Hunger Caterpillar is another one of my favourites. Uh, yes. Does anyone remember? Not Now Bernard. Does anyone remember Not Now Bernard? Or still read, or read it to their children today? Because that's how old we all are now. Oh, 14, Fort 1701, you've migrated, you've been awake for the last seven hours, you love the game. I love the game too. Um, you're not going to learn anything here. <laughs> but we will have a nice time talking to our chat because they're lovely, lovely guys. And we do have a nice time here, don't we? Being silly. And then at quarter to the hour, we get a, a biscuit review in there uh, and yeah it's good uh, Google not our Bernard in fact Bernard's joining us today on the stream Bernard is joining us there he is oh, poor Bernard uh, not now Bernard I'll tell you the story of not our Bernard in a minute uh, but first of all we have to get Bernard himself up on the screen on the, on the screen he, there's not many good images of him. This is a, a, a vast shame. Okay, we'll just have to use this one. Just have to use this guy. Oh, there he is. Bernard, you've joined us on the stream today. How are you today, Bernard? Not now, not now, Bernard. That's what I'll say every time that the FSD drive goes down. Basically, the not now, let's see if anyone else remembers not now, Bernard, first before I ramble on too much about it. Where are the cutouts? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. How am I to retain viewers? 
Mr. Junks, you are the loveliest. Just because you say that you're not lovely does not make you lovely. You are the best one. Where, when we were small, damn it. Hey Ed, can I have the gift producer make a role, please? Of course you can, Grieved. I'm so sorry that I didn't give you that role already. Um, but iGamer17, are you in it? Is he, is he arrived yet? He's the latest guy. Percat259, I promise I will sort you out. Uh, when I saw small, we read Penance and small, we read it. So, production values plummet when, especially Coots, it's Coots' fault. Coots, go download the co- Oh, right, I'll connect it now. Did you, when did you send them to me? Everybody wait a minute while I download some cutouts from Percat259. He has absolutely demanded it. Hello, Richard Head TIIQ. You're the head, are you the head of TIIQ? Hello, friend. What a lovely man you must be to be here with us today. Uh, right, let's have a look. Loading up Discord now. So Bernard, does anyone want to hear the story of Bernard? Yeah, because I game I game seventy is not here. No countdowns. Thirty five minutes to Bizcat. Says Frontier Dev. Thank you very much. I did promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long until you're back? Oh well. Uh, <laughs> back where? Do you mean to my first stop off point? Because that's probably going to be about five hours. But back home, probably another hundred streams, hundred hundred episodes of this. But yes, not now, Bernard. I keep getting reminded to sort of tell the story of not now, Bernard. So Bernard, what happens in not now, Bernard is. He goes, uh, yeah, his name's not DJ, why are you caps? <laughs> uh, his name's not DJ, but it does say head of. To the bubble, I'm going all the way back to the bubble. It's gonna take me thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of light years. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Bernard, right, basically what he does, and not now Bernard, he goes around his house, and uh, it's actually a story, and you don't realize this when you're a little kid, but it's a story about neglect, about parental neglect. Um, and basically, he walks around his house and he says, Dad, can I get some help on this? And his dad goes, not now, Bernard. And then he walks around and he's like, Dad, Mom, can I get some help on this? And she says, not now, Bernard. And that happens a few times on different things. He's, his dad bashes in his finger. Not, he's not his kid's finger. That's actual just abuse. Um, his own finger. And he's not now, Bernard. He's annoyed because he's too busy doing adult things. And then... Bernard goes into the garden and finds a monster, as you can see above. And he says, Mum and Dad, there's a monster in the garden. And they're like, no, now, Bernard. And then he goes out to the garden and the monster eats him. And then the monster then comes inside and is like, Wah! trying to attack the parents. And the parents are like, not now, Bernard. And then the monster's like, really confused. And then it ends up that the mum actually serves the monster breakfast in bed and uh, puts like tucks him in and stuff like that. And the monster's confused. And then he says one thing at the end and he just says, Something like, I'm a monster. You, you realise that I'm a monster, right? And then that's it. And it's a, a lovely lesson about not neglecting the loved ones around you, I think. I think that's what it's about. Also, don't get eaten by monsters. It's a lovely lesson about not b bothering your parents. Because if you bother your parents, you'll get eaten by monsters. I think that is the lesson there, actually. Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy little children's story. Anyway, thanks, Bernard. But uh, I'm afraid we don't have time for you now. I'm too busy looking after my wonderful chat. Yeah, the, the, the book is way sadder than, than, than you remember it. Yeah, it's way sadder. It's really weird. Because you think it's just this fun book about, like, don't bother your parents because you'll get eaten. It's like, no, 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 no. How many light years am I away from the, <laughs> from the bubble? Uh, should we check, everybody? Put some predictions in the chat. How many light years are we all right now away from the bubble? Uh, remember, you were all sitting in the back of my ASP scout somewhere around there. I can't see you, but um, yeah. So put some guesses in there so we can tell Space Mad Explorer how far away I am. Which is probably miles away still. A ridiculous amount of time away. T t 20,000 asks Richard Hedde, like you. I wish, mate. I wish we were that far. 1701 says 45,000. I wish we were that close. 12,400 says Percat. Percat, have you been watching these streams? You've been here since the start. Uh, Paul Archer says 60,187. That's probably the most accurate so far. Uh, 61,000 says Academic Dust 894. Uh, uh, oh my god, Percat 259. Yes, he's just reminding me that Friday we do have the return of the Bisquiz. 
uh, with Walter Neil Lewis. He's going to do another round, another quiz round, and then also apparently he's going to read us a story from my childhood. We'll see what happens there. It's going to be a bit weird, but we basically invite Walter Neil Lewis onto the stream, and he's he's great. He's better than me. Um, uh, at least a lot, like minimum a ton. Forty-five thousand. No, you're going to be your faces are going to be blown off when you see how far away I am. We've done three weeks of streaming. This is the fourth week of jumping every day for an hour. And I'm still 62,000 light years away. That's why I'm doing a stream on Saturday when I'm just gonna do straight six hours of jumping. Six hours of jumping with one biscuit review at the end of every hour at 10 to the hour. On Thursday, uh, I'm gonna be, oh, Griefed's filling in for iGamer. Good lad, thank you, Griefed. Um, It's a long, it's a long time away, isn't it? It's a long, long distance. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Very rude. Uh, here we go. So, uh, Percat. Where's it come from? Mad cat. No, it's not mad cat. Percat got you. Yeah. With you in a sec. With you in a sec, guys. I've got to log into Dropbox. <laughs> Give me a sec. Give me a second. Sorry to be neglectful. Keep your eyes on the screen. Keep your eyes on the screen. Keep your eyes on the screen. This email is already taken. I, I. <sighs> these are amazing. I'm seeing these cutouts from <laughs> from Burkat to use on the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's downloading very, very slowly now. Give me a sec. All right, cool. So today's uh, biscuit review will begin, of course, at quarter two. How do you think it's going to do? It's, uh, I think it's a rival for very middling table, personally. If you any guesses for what it is, then you know, guess away in the chat. Okay, for dodgy thing that they want you to, they want you to think that you have to do it and you don't have to do it. Rubbish. Right, okay, here we go. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Reduction values. <laughs> These are great. These are fantastic. All right, let's. <laughs> Who should we be today? I'm thinking Robert Downey Jr. If I can get back to my screen really quickly. So I don't crash into the star. Although it does that thing where it actually pulls your throttle to zero for you so then you don't crash when you've looked away from the screen, which I think is actually quite handy, personally. So everybody, who's going to stick here all the way, by the way? The other day, Zach was, Zach was saying to me, uh, yeah, all right, in 40 streams time, let's see how many people are still here. I'm hoping we have more. I want us to have like 500 people watching every single day. It's not true. 38, we've got 38 viewers right now. I reckon it's probably all the original 38. Good to see you, everybody, by the way. Uh, you're gonna start by Roxxar on your way back, evading the Thargoids, because you might be home by season four at this speed. That's very true, it's gonna take that long. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh... <laughs> yes, I quite like it with a big head. I quite like him with a big head, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it, so... Uh... Just about right. There you go. Today's stream is with um, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, any questions? Ask me anything. I'm Robert Downey Jr. Hey, hey, I'm Robert, Down Robert Downey Jr. Hey, I'm Robert Downey Jr. Uh, and you can ask me anything. This is how he talks, isn't it? I'm Robert Downey Jr. And you can ask me anything. Ask me anything you like. I'm Robert Downey Jr. Mm hmm. Mmm. Uh, any questions for Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> Keeping my head still is very difficult. Um, 
you may think that it looks like I'm holding my head very still as Robert Downey Jr. Uh, as Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, I'm Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> and and uh, today, um, that's all I've got. That's all. I, that's all I can do. Robert Downey Jr. And I think that you should vote to stay in Europe in the Brexit. Did you know that I'm a huge Brexit supporter as Robert Downey Jr., not Edward Lewis? Edward Lewis does not share his uh, political opinions. He uses the face of other people to pretend that, uh, well, hey, it's Robert Downey Jr. Having a nice day. My next um, film is all about uh, anything Robert Downey Jr. what do you think of that Channel 4 interview that you walked out last year? I think it was really I actually, um, everyone thinks that it was because I was upset with the questions uh, I actually just really really needed to go for a wee and when you've got to go you've got to go <laughs> uh, yeah. what is my favourite biscuit? Robert Downey Jr.'s favourite biscuit is of course the um uh, Garibaldi, and actually he's furious about my poor Garibaldi review from last week. Uh, can Robert do an Indian IT help desk accent? Uh, no, I can't, because that would be very offensive and a bit kind of silly, so I'm not really uh, gonna, I'm not really prepared to do that for you. Enough of that, Robert Downey Jr. is gone. He's, he, he'd had enough, he was furious with your questions, so he stormed out of the interview again. He's got a real habit for doing that sort of thing, that guy. I don't know, I don't know. Who likes Robert Downey Jr.? We'll bring him back at some point. <laughs> it is an author, yes. Coot says it's not a shambles of a stream, but in a good way. That is basically, that should be the head, the tagline of the stream. An utter shambles of a stream, but in a good way. Five stars, The Guardian. The Guardian's reviewing live streams now. What a weird world we'd be living in if The Guardian were doing reviews of YouTube channels. That's where we're going to be. Ten years' time, where no one watches TV anymore and everyone's too busy watching Twitch. Just watching idiots like me do this. And that's going to be culture. This is culture. This is culture. This right now is culture. This. A man doing this. A man pretending to have Robert Downey Jr.'s head. This is this right now is art. Modern art. Derivative, yes. But 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 wonderful all the same. Art. Fort. Uh what's TV? Exactly DJ Charge, and people don't even know what TV is anymore. That's it. That's the the kids these days. Do you know that kids these days uh, come out of the womb holding a iPhone 7? And it's not even only kids are allowed it. If you're over the age, if you were born after the year 2005, you're not even allowed to have a two, uh, an iPhone 7. They come out clutching it and they don't even know what TV is. Um, uh, yes, performance high is what it is, I suppose it is. God, this is so stupid. How many more minutes have we got left until the biscuit? That's what everyone's here for, right? <sighs> Dante2050 asks, Ed, can I ask how come the Frontier streams use YouTube and not Twitch lately? We've actually all pretty much the last at least year I think we've used YouTube. Maybe it's not a year, but for most of our streams, we've used YouTube. Uh, it's a really simple explanation as to why we use YouTube. Um, it allows us very, very easy archiving. Um, once the stream has gone live, it literally within half an hour, it just then is archived straight away. So it's very, very, very easy archiving. Um, we've actually had, and this is a completely inside baseball answer as well, a lot better support from uh, YouTube as a platform. Um, in terms of uh, promotion and things like that and, and just help and aid and stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, keep that between yourselves, keep that to yourselves, but we, we've just ended end up preferring YouTube as a platform. But in the future, I'm going to say this now, um, I'm actually going to think of using both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. 
but I can't. What we'll do is still promote the YouTube channel, but then if people want to, if they absolutely have to watch it on Twitch, they can watch it there, and I'll put it in the comments section. I'll say, uh, 20 minutes, 20 Robert Downey Juniors. The Biscuit Review begins in 20 Robert Downey Juniors. That's what we call minutes here on the live stream. We call them Robert Downey Juniors. Thank you, Grief. Thank you very much for keeping us on our toes. I've not been looking in the system map. We could have missed Ed's 38, the planet. We could have missed it. could have missed it. Yeah, a Jon Snow mask would have been really good. Sorry, Coots. Was I not allowed to do a serious answer from a serious question? Also, yeah, the archive lasts longer. So yes, you can archive things on Twitch, but they only last about two weeks, as we've learned, as uh, the wonderful Grief has told us as well. Grief, I will be putting your job description down in the um, in the title. You've also been given uh, temp uh, count uh, temp, not the final countdown. Temp count of down. The final count of down, of course, is I game of seventeen, but he's not here today. Don't know where he is. He didn't let me know. Coots always lets me know if he can't make it. I game of seventeen. You. Yeah, this is your first warning. Sorry. Um, DJ charging. What, what was the question? This picture says everything. It's tech 1980s to the 2K kids. Let's have a look. Let's bring this up. Oh, yeah. I really like this. Hold on. Am I allowed to do this? What's happening? You don't don't dox me somehow. I don't know how you do that. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Right. Sorry. Go away. Um. All right. Great. Let's move on. Next. Next jump. How how we're making we're making good progress. We are making good progress. I'm pretty sure this is what we call progress. Uh, maybe. Uh, Fort seventeen oh one. You want David not to be serious while here. Thank you, Fort seventeen oh one. Basically, this is my hobby stream that I do in my lunch breaks. It's not really affiliated with Frontier Developments, uh, other than the fact that I'm using the equipment that they that we've we've got set up for the live streams. Um, but this is my just my daytime. Sort of thing. It's on my lunch break. I was going to jump home anyway, and I thought, why not stream it? And then we can invite people to come and be silly with us and uh, review biscuits. And then on Wednesdays, we have guest Wednesdays where I have a guest reviewer, guest biscuit reviewer in. They do it completely off their own back. They come in off their lunch break and review a biscuit with me, someone from Frontier Developments. Uh, and then on Fridays, we have now have the new feature, the recurring feature, because it was so popular on Friday. Uh, last Friday, the Bisquiz starring Walter Neil Lewis, my dad, who comes along and uh, does a quiz on over Skype with us. And apparently this week he's got some stories to tell you as well, so that's going to be a fun, weird five minutes. Uh, Temp Time Lord, very good, Shan, yes. You killed iGame in Brest the once, thank you. Richard Head, T-I-I-Q, you have. Uh, I've just realised the meaning behind your name, and I'm quite frankly I'm shocked and appalled at your silly behaviour. I applaud, I applaud it. It's very good, don't tell anyone, I like it a lot. Imagine if I was just a mouth. Just a floating mouth. Be weird, wouldn't it? Philip Coots, write that down. Idea for future, floating mouth skit. Where I do just a floating mouth situation. Floating mouth and hands. Or, in reverse, and I wrap up my head in green screen t-shirt and I'm just a body and I don't have a head. Everybody, of course, we must say hello to uh, David. David's with us here. You all right? Say hi to David Braben for me, everybody. He's here in his uh, green screen suit. He wears just head to toe green screen suit. He stands here just to make sure that I, I keep uh, on message all day. Floating hair, just, just floating hair. Yeah. Just, just the eyes. Is it not a good? Is it not a good idea? Afternoon, David. Thank you, NDFM. Thank you, Perkat two five nine for paying your respects. Very good. He enjoys these streams, though. He does enjoy them. He's never seen. He's never seen it. Why would you? Why would you watch this if you had any <laughs> any sense? It's possibly worse off than tops off Tuesday or trousers Thursday. They were both good ideas, but we had to shoot them down at the logistical stage. Um, because uh, um, the, the law permits that I'm not allowed to be nude on 
uh, Twitch stream. Which is a darn shame because tops off Tuesday and, to and pants off, trousers off Thursday were. Trousers off Thursday, sorry, yes, were two golden ticket ideas. D Day Tarjan, it's a very, very special occasion that I break out the floating head ad. Um, only when we reach a, a certain number of viewers or we get raided by somebody else's channel do I then. Um, adopt the floating head just to make sure that everybody knows exactly what's happening. Whenever there's a whenever there's a, a channel invasion or we reach like a hundred viewers, that's when I adopt floating head ed. I put on a green screen jumper, uh, and everyone has a riotous laugh. Well, my head floats around the screen. It were it was funny for about the first two times, uh, and then it's getting tiring. But that's 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 how the best jokes work. They're funny at first, then they get tiring, and then because you just completely do them over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, you just keep doing the same joke over and over again, eventually it gets funny again because it's viewed as ironic and the person knows that they're doing that joke. Like, for example, a classic one from Gamescom where I stood behind the... Grief might remember this. I stood behind the, the grills of the Cobra and I said, oh, it's getting hot back here, and I said it every day on repeat, and by the last day, four days in, uh, the joke wasn't funny at all, and it had failed to get funny again, and I think that was even funnier. I enjoyed that more. The less funny something is, the more funny I think I like it more. Uh, yeah, it was the mercenary thorn raid yesterday that kicked off the floating head. Alright, where are we at? Where are we up to? How is everybody, by the way? Do give me an update on your personal ongoings. Um, if you'd like any advice on any personal issues that you have, uh, put in the chat and then we can all help you together as a nice support group. <laughs> Unless you keep just, you'd like to keep these things private, which would be the sensible thing to do. What you need is a toy of some sort. Everyone loves Sandra's Loach. I've got him, what do you mean? Look. Look at this guy. You see him there. There he is on the on, on the left. Sh Sh Galactic Ted the shiny pet. I'll bring him in. I'll bring him in. I should bring him in, shouldn't I? He should he should he should accompany me on the stream certainly. The what is it? someone says space medical. I love the stare during the diamond frogs spotlight. Oh man, I. <laughs> That one was a, an adventure, wasn't it? We were on that adventure together and it was just nonsense. Oh yes, Patrick Stewart cut out done. This is exciting. Should we get another, another cut out? Should we invite somebody else in for some more AMAs? It's Henry Cavill, Superman's Henry Cavill. Here he is. So hey, I'm Superman. Uh, ask me anything. My head, I've got no neck. There you, there you go, that's a bit better. My head's a bit big as well, isn't it? Hey, I'm Henry Cavill. Uh, people know me as Superman, but I was actually also in a great film recently called uh, Man From U.N.C.L.E. Um, where I played a spy and like I, I really pulled it off to the point where I think that people should actually consider me uh, to be in, a, in for a role in um, in uh, James Bond, when, it, when when Jimmy Bond comes out and hex Jimmy Bond, that's what I that's what I call him because, uh, you know, me and him, we know each other very well. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Tragedy. When the he's in. St I was also a member of Steps, probably best known for when I was in Steps, the band Steps. Um, I used to be called H from Steps. Uh, that was my name, H from Steps, but I changed it to Henry Cavill. Um, for legal reasons. <laughs> uh, name's Bond. Ed Bond. Ed, how am I supposed to participate for more if I'm supposed to be working? You shouldn't be. This is this is lunch break time. You're only supposed to be here if you're on your lunch break. Also, did everyone know that Henry Cavill, and this is a serious, serious Henry, Ca Henry Cavill fact, Henry Cavill is... Um, a, uh, a big fan of Eve Online. Uh, 
That's true. He likes. I really like Eve Online. Uh, hey, listen. Ten more minutes. Hey, listen. This is supposed to be a Zelda reference, though. I think very good. Well, nicely done. Uh, Henry Cavill is actually a big Eve Online fan, and so I was thinking that we can really pester him. We should really, really pester Henry Cavill online to get him on this live stream. At some point, even if it takes two years of pestering, one day Henry Cavill is going to come onto this live stream. Sorry, one day I'm going to come onto this live stream. My name's Henry Cavill, and I fully endorse the Edward Lewis uh, Biscuit Review live stream. As you can see, by being on the live stream, you can see that I fully support him. What happens if I do this, by the way? Does it look as if I've got like a. What if I do this to make it look like his head is expanding? <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? It doesn't look funny. See you, Henry. Thanks for the cutouts, Fair cat. Very, very good. Very strange. I don't know what's happening. Nobody knows what's happening anymore. You take a lunch hour an hour earlier to coincide with us plans in South Africa. Oh, I'm very sorry, Cold Zop, but it's super cool that you're here from all the way from South Africa. Where, whereabouts in South Africa do you live? I think you might be the first South African on the stream. Everybody, is anybody else South African? Is it me or do all the heads just look like Ed? All right, will you say that when you see this one? Can't, I can't hold that one on for too long. I want it to be very, very clear on that one. Please do not share an image of that one because I actually have a deep respect for David and I don't want him to make him think that we, we're, we're, we're making fun in any way because we're not. We can't have David Braben, he's too awesome. So I'm not making, I can't, I can't, I can't hold, I can't do any silly impressions of David because he, he doesn't deserve that. He's awesome. Exactly, I, that's that's why, yeah, I took David off the green screen. I, I, I wanted to show that he'd made it, but I didn't want to be disrespectful in any way. See, that was actually a very sincere moment for me there, very sincerely. Like, let's keep that between us. Let's keep that moment that we just had there between us, between the 40 through two people that are here right now in this room. Uh, <laughs> uh, Paul Archer, my lunch break matches it so I can legitimately watch. You've not heard the ice cream van yet. You missed the ice cream van. It came really, really early today. I don't know why. I asked it to come at the regular time, but it came early. Ooh, not sure why. Uh, 21 jumps until my next thing, but we actually only have seven minutes remaining. Grief, have you given us a message? He says, uh, I'm running out of puns here. Biscuit room 50 minutes, antinactually, actually. You're doing, you're trying your best. That's the important thing. I hope he doesn't, seriously. Uh, all right, I'm from Chekhov, yes, Braven. Monsieur E.C. Lewis says, Bewilderbeast. Bonjour, Monsieur Bewilderbeast. Uh, yes, DJ Charger, now we'll have to clear out all the trumbles. Uh, can you ask if there's any plans for an Elite Dangerous Xbox One special live stream like a few weeks ago? Uh, Kiem Steifel, you can ask that. Yeah, um, I'm sure we can we can arrange something if you, if it's something that you you guys want. Or we can do another CQC live stream as well where we actually play some CQC. That actually worked out really well when we got like we had one PC playing one CQC. It just when it all depends on when we've got new information to bring to you guys. We want to make sure that the live streams are relevant and interesting. Uh, like this one here, relevant and interesting. To whom? It's questionable. Great. FSD malfunction, Andy FM, if you're still here, could you please pour out that stuff that you were saying earlier? I can't remember the name of the stuff. Every time we do an FSD drive malfunction, everyone does a shot of water or the imaginary drink that Andy FM is going to pour because, of course, as we know, this is the official disclaimer. Don't drink alcohol whilst watching this stream. That would be mad. DJ Tarjan, you you retired at 30? That's an excellent time to retire. Still got two years of hard work left for me though before 30, so.
Five minutes. Depends on the dunkability. What? Yes, basic review begins in five minutes' time. And as you can see, the stream numbers are growing. More people are here to catch the biscuit review. Um, yeah, that's they, they can't stay away. They can't stay away from the biscuit reviews. This was without even we even without a raid, we're at forty six people. Welcome everybody. You are glorious. Uh, make sure you stick around for the biscuit reviews at quarter two, um, and also come back every day because I do these every day. Uh, come and speak to the lovely people in the chat. Uh, System producer Coots, of course, is here, and he's the most important man. Uh, so DJ Charging, you're 46 now and you retired at 30. What have you been doing with your time on those? What have you been doing with with your, your, with your 15 years or whatever it is? 16 years. Space Man Explorer, I hope Ed remembered to bring AFM this time. No, this is the same trip. I'm on my way home and I have no AFM units. I'm at 50% I'm at 50 damage on my... Um, uh, on my FSD drive, that's why it keeps failing. But the the interesting thing is, I'm actually doing pretty well. Like I haven't taken any damage since Sagittarius A. Most of the damage was done the first halfway up to Sagittarius A, and then after that, I was like, I didn't take much damage. So I've got so used to actually doing the, this one thing that I've been doing so frequently. The scoop, uh, not, yeah. So jump, scoop, and as I'm scooping, hold down the 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 left trigger on here to scan the area and then I check and see if there's any earth likes, if there's any earth likes I'll go and scan them. We haven't found one earth like, we've been doing these streams for four weeks and we haven't found an earth like yet. To be fair, I'm not being that vigilant on checking every single time, but hey. The rich tea finger was a dunking farce. Yeah, I'm over for a sturdy biscuit today too and I have got one of it. Look, it's looking pretty good. Um, but Don Anton actually has been very, very quiet in the chat. I do wonder why he's being as quiet as he is. Hmm. Um, yeah. Richard Head TIQ says, hopefully you can take London Game for Fun stream. We all know e ED don't like him. We love London Game for Fun. What? A man not supposed to like him? He's great. I like that man. Eight astronomical object, object, apostrophe S, not apostrophe S, open bracket S, close bracket, full stop. Nope. Nothing there of any use. And the countdown from Griefed, who is the, what did we call him? Oh, Temp Time Lord. Uh, so it's three minutes almost there. That must have been a while ago. Dr. Kai's online. Should we all say hi to Dr. Kai? Oh, can't. You've put some more per cat. You've put some more cutouts in the link. Well, you've granted me the beard that I've always wanted. Can we save it till tomorrow? I feel like we've done two cutouts today. We can save more. We can save the cutouts to spread across the weeks, spread across the days. Otherwise, we're 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 making we're putting all our cards on the table nice too early, too early. Someone just cracked open a can. It was very loud. Did you hear that in the next room? Maybe that was for a, like a, they were doing some audio, did recording. <laughs> the audio rooms are right there. They're making beautiful music and sounds literally in the next room. I love the beard, I'm sure I love the beard. All right, announcer voice. One minute remains. One minute remains. That's how announcers talk, isn't it? All right, you all know what happens in one minute time. I put on the back soon screen. I go and make myself a fresh brew in the in Shan's biscuit pocket. Thank you again, Shan, for sending the biscuit pocket mug. Make myself a fresh brew, get the biscuit ready, um, and then I come back and then we start the review. It's on a seven point scale. Uh, everyone be very, very nice to each other in the chat. Be, be kind, be courteous, be careful, be focused, be efficient. Um, and anything else you want to be, but just most importantly, be safe. Stay safe, because while I'm not here to look after you, who knows who's prancing around? Probably, probably Zach Antonacci, because he's been so quiet these last few minutes that I've got no idea what he has cooked up for this today. He's been very, very quiet in the chat. 
and I saw someone's someone prancing around in the corridor. It's probably him. All right. Anyway, um, back in about three minutes' time. I'm going to stop. Slow down. Stop. Slow down. Back in about three minutes' time. Thank you all for being here, and uh, yeah, let's get ready for the biscuit review. See you in a second. Something has happened. Um, I, I literally just chased him away. Uh, can you see that? <laughs> I'm upside down on my screen. You guys are absolutely still the same way up. But, but everything on my computer is upside down. So I need to stand on this and look up this way. There you go. Now we can. Now we can see. How do I change it? Does anyone know how to change? <laughs> here he is, here he is! How do I change that? <laughs> how do I change it? You can't do that to me! Everything's upside down on my screen, he's here. I managed to drag him back from outside. That's the cruelest one you've done so far. Right click on your um, yeah? desktop. Yes. On the desktop. Yeah. You can get your mouse there. Yes, I can. Done. Right mouse click on it. I've done that, yeah. No, you haven't. I have a oh, right yeah. Go down to... Personalise. No, the screen resolution. Thank you, yes. And then click on yeah. monitor, yeah. one monitor, and then go <coughs> where it says landscape flipped. This one. Click that and go landscape. Uh, and then go OK. Uh, yes! Yeah! No, it's not done it! It's that side. That's because you've done that monitor. Then oh click on the other monitor. So click keep. Go. Uh, uh, and then do it again on... Right. Yeah. A screen, yeah, and then <laughs> this is all I happening live right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then two, and then landscape. You did this. This took some effort. This one, landscape. And then, okay. Uh, oh, that was the that was mean. Hello, everybody. We're back. I did it. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That was the meanest one he's done yet. I actually had to go and find him because I was too sad. I couldn't work it out. Uh, educating Ed on how to use a PC. Very good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> mm -mm. Can you really do control up down? No, it doesn't work on my screen. I don't know. Anyway, that was that. That was an exciting moment. I'm glad it's over, though. Right, let's get out of here. Let's quit to May. Oh, not again. Press that wrong button. Let's quit to the main menu and bring up the wonderful biscuit spreadsheet. Uh, community manager and IT support. He's only IT support because he's breaking it in the first place. Um, but anyone, yes, anyway, yes. So let's go. Let's go to this. Let's bring up the uh, fantastic uh, Robert Danny Jr. He's going to review the biscuit today. No, he's not. He's gone. Uh, where do we have? What do we have now? Okay, let's, let's bring that up. There we go. So we have the biscuit reviews up on screen. Of course, you know how this works. We've got a seven-point scale. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, Commander Hatch, uh, Dante2050, Fort1701. You're all still here. Per Percat259. Oh, Coldzer. Are you a new, a new, a new chap? Oh, Revian's here. Good to see you, Revian. Yeah, I don't know what was happening there. That was Zach. He snuck in and he turned things upside down. And then he said, I, I literally ca caught him on the outside and he was like, I might have to stick around for this one in case you don't know how to get it back up and running. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, it's probably a good thing. Anyway, so biscuit for the day. All right, let me show you this. Today's biscuit is a Foxes from Foxes. Um, it was the last one available in the... Uh, in the office, in the office biscuit supply. Um, so don't worry, I didn't steal the pack. If anyone's watching, who's in the office, I didn't steal the whole pack. Just the last one I was in the in the thing. Jam and cream, jam and cream, raspberry and vanilla. Jam and cream, raspberry and vanilla. So that's foxes, jam and cream, 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 uh, raspberry and vanilla. All right, so appearance. Let's have a look at this thing. It's Foxes again, right? But that's, that is a coincidence. I am not sponsored by Foxes. I knew people were going to say that. People are leaving the channel because they're furious about the fact that it's um, a Foxes biscuit again. Don't worry, I've got loads more to cover. In fact, this weekend from 10 a.m. BST, I'm going to be on here streaming for six hours, jumping home again, carrying on the jumps home, but every hour we're going to stop. And what I'm doing is an Oreo special. So I'm going to have six different kinds of Oreos. I think this exists, there are six different types of Oreos. I've got at least four already bought, I just need to get the other two. Um, so it's going to be good. These are, let's have a look. So, appearance. cream inside there. All the little four dots on the bottom to stop from choking children. I think that's what that's all about. Probs. Uh, all right, so you've got the, the, the nice sort of rimmed, uh, the, the sort of cascading. <laughs> that's what I, the word I want to use is cascading. That feels it's nice. It looks nice. And the sugar in the center of it looks really cool. It's kind of like a jammy dodger. Not as good as looking, not as, yeah, six hours stream on Saturday. Not as good looking as a jammy dodger, I have to say. Um, so, but it is very, very nice looking biscuit. I mean, Jamie Dodger got an, uh, an eight. This has got a seven, hasn't it? Let's be honest. It's a good looking, it is a good looking, it's a nice looking biscuit. And the cream looks very, very appealing in the middle. Obviously, you can't quite see it there because um, the focus is off. Uh, in fact, maybe for these, I can go slightly bigger. And that way you can see these biscuits a little bit better when the focus is right in the right place. Yeah, for the appearance, I'll do that from now on. Um, all right, so then we have uh, taste, of course. Second on the list, taste. That's good. That is better than Jammy Dodger by a long way. I'm sorry, Jammy Dodger, but the cream just adds to it so much. This is good. Mmm. That's a good biscuit. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. What did we give the Jammy Dodger? We gave the Jammy Dodger six. Well, it's way better than that. But it's not an eight. No, maybe it is an eight. Foxes make good biscuits, all right? That's clean. Let's, let's clear the palate. Yeah, there's a nice snap to it, says 141701. He's exactly right. He's new to the stream, but he already, you know, he already gets it. Texture was good. The cream, the jam added together with that snap of the biscuit. It's a nice textured biscuit. It wasn't quite as nice as like the milk chocolate covered hobnob or the Foxy Chunky Cookie. 
Oh, does everyone remember the heady days of the Fox's Chucky, Chunky Cookie? So let's just take a moment to remember the Fox's Chunky Cookie, everyone. Pay our respects to the Fox's Chunky Cookie all the way up there at the top. Well done, sir. Uh, and then, well, so texting mouthfeel is going to be a... Seven. Durability. We have got quite crumbs, quite crummy here. It is quite crummy, gonna be honest with you. There's a lot of crumbs going on. Mm. Um so who's who's why are we saying Oh, it's your last exam tomorrow, Percat. 259's not going to be here, so Shane Percat's not going to be here, but good luck with your last exam. We will celebrate on Thursday's stream together. Promise. All right, so let's get on with this. Sorry. Uh, it's not, it's a few crumbs. What did we give the Jammy Dodger? It's similar levels of crumbs to the Jammy Dodger. It's sick, it's fine. Dunkability. Here you go. Here's the true test. Now, for this, I'm going to dunk half of the biscuit to be... F I've got a fresh one. I've got a fresh one. I'm going to dunk half of the biscuit. Two, three. Holding up well for the single first dunk. That's five points. One, two, three. That's, that's, I mean, that's, it's holding up strong. It's holding up strong. Gonna go for the taste. Mmm, crumbly. Really tasty. Really, really nice. Really nice biscuit. It held it very strong. You could see that it wasn't quite as strong as the chunky cookie, though. Post on taste, I just need a quick. It's the same. So it's the same. So it, you want it to sort. You want it to improve. So it's going for seven point five because it's the same as the original taste. But you do want it to improve. It's not a must dunk by no means. Is it a must dunk? Satisfaction though. Man, I'm feeling good. I I just kind of cheated and I've eaten two, and I'm still feeling too very good about it. Feeling very good about this one. I really want another one. I am quite hungry though, so again, potentially. Here you go. Let's see how it fares. 59. All right. One, two, three. Fifth place, the Fox's Jam and Cream Raspberry and Vanilla. Congratulations to the Fox's Jam and Cream Raspberry and Vanilla. Even with your quite crumminess. Wow. Wow, well done. I mean, I have no more, no more words. Mm. No more words. But everybody, there you go. I took the end. Andy FM spotted it. Andy FM spotted it. I said earlier that I took the last one. Turns out I've taken the last two. But don't tell anyone. Could have done the quad, quad, quad. Yeah, it's fifth place, isn't it? Oh, fourth place. No. Yeah, fifth. Sixth place. No, it's six on the list, but then one is the name. See? Mmm. Seriously, Space Mad Explorer. Check out the Foxy Chunky Cookie. Check out the Milk Chocolate Covered Hard These That is a great list. That is a great list. And honestly, that is not one I would normally go for. So I'm super surprised about how much I actually really, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, Bandawi. I've got feedback from a friend, and he says that it's time that you add a position column on the right-hand side. So yes, maybe I will put a position column there on the right-hand side. But that is ordered, it's just that it's, it's it's kind of here, but because of one, it skews it, and eventually we are going to get a bit awkward, a bit more like that. Uh, font slightly bigger. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I'll... There you go. Now, look at this. Is that better? Look at that, it's chunky, isn't it? Mm. There you go. Yeah, Chris, first start out Braven cut out and now stealing two biscuits. Good thing I'm screen recording, says Demon are off. No! Alright guys, well, no, Foxes have not sponsored this stream. We're gonna get onto lots more. Like I said, we've got lots of different ones. We've got we've got loads of different brands here going on. 
there's a lot of Tesco, we've got Sainsbury's, Fox's Butter Crunch. Okay, yeah, that's also Fox's. Who makes Jummy Dodger? Don't know. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure again. Remember, tomorrow uh, I'm going to be doing this again from 1 p.m. Uh, where I do lots of the jumping section, and then you can obviously join for the best bit, which is the biscuit review at the end. But it has been an absolute delight and pleasure, as per usual. And I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Have a lovely evening. I hope it's better than yesterday's evening, which was quite dismal, to be honest. Bye. crazy characters that he creates and also that Percat makes for his face cutouts on the stream tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.